Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In this episode, I want to go in and get the rest of our cargo moving about. Now, no time has passed between last episode's ending and the beginning of this episode, so let's go ahead and get straight on into it. Now, one thing that I definitely want to get taken care of, I want to get more vehicles on the iron ore line because we definitely got a line, lot of iron picking up there. Plus, I also want to uh, add in a road right here. That way, the iron ore line can take, use that, utilize that road instead of using, utilizing the main connection. So let's go ahead and take care of that first of all. So, um... Uh, no, not there. So, I'm not sure if any of you guys actually have the Transport Fever games yourselves, but I know that my friend Maria does because she comments on the video every time. Um, but uh, one thing that I've noticed is that yesterday the Steam Workshop didn't get any new mods at all. The only mod that actually showed up was... Um, a uh, track balancing mod and frankly I felt like that mod wouldn't have been useful in this let's play but I kept on checking it every day yet every like few hours yesterday and nothing I was like what the heck's going on there should have been at least like something new popping up like every 6 to 12 hours so kind of weird how that happened but uh, quickly, let's go ahead and get some more vehicles on there. Uh, six more should do. Iron ore line, yep. Go about your business. Uh, got 45 seconds. Um, put another five on there. Oh, not enough money. Okay. Well, put you on the iron ore line either way. Um, let's see, when's the next coal train coming in? So I have tinkered around with the settings a little bit, and I haven't figured out why the render distance is so low for the vehicles. I just gotta uh, recheck that again. Um, it's definitely something very interesting, I would say. Um, but I want to just be able to play the game with having full render distance on. Like, the train that you guys can tell is there, is like right over here but you guys can't see it because of the render distance now, I'm not sure why that happens oh it's actually right there I'm not sure why that happens but apparently it's not something that I like so we got a coal train coming in right there oh there we go we got another coal train coming back on in I don't think so um, if we do, it's possibly a good distance away. That or it's just picking up cargo. Oh, it just picked up cargo, okay. We might have to put another coal train on there. Because I have a feeling that's going to pick up quite evenly. Let me see here. These trains are worth how much? 1.22 million, okay. Um... I don't care about YouTube right now, uh, in phone, turn off your volume. Got to turn off my volume for my phone, so if you guys heard like some sort of notification bell or something like that, that was my phone. Okay, and let's see here. Um, we're currently at our max loan, which is not something that I like. But, I guess it's something that we can deal with for the meantime. Hmm. Uh, let's go and run on 3 times speed real quick. Well, actually, I think it's called 4 times speed. Yeah, 4 times speed. Uh, let's see, how many steel we got? Over 60 steel. Damn! Okay. Nope. Oh. Yep, yeah, autosave. Year 1894 now. Uh, let's go and get some. Oh, we can't because we're currently in negative money. How lovely. Now, I would skip 
right now to the point where we are making money, which we're making a decent amount of money every few every few minutes, so that's good. Enough in my opinion. Uh, I was going to put like three more on the steel line, because that way we can get that steel moving. Hmm. Okay, so we are making a profit basically everywhere except for the um, passenger services in Askern. Hmm. Interesting. And how many passengers do we have waiting right here? 28 passengers, and our train can only carry 16. Okay, interesting. And how many are waiting over in Askern? Uh, does- oh! Looks like a few. Okay, not bad. 18 people waiting right there. So that's good, that's good. Um, I'm thinking that I want to have a bypass track on here. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that started. And go. I just want it to be like this whole entire section right here. There. Oh, not like that, not like that. I don't want that. Uh, that looks good. And so does that. Let's go and put some signals up on, on there. Oh, come on. And another one right there. And another one right there. I think I might want to put another one, like, right over here. Yeah, it might be a good idea to get a second train rolling on here. So there's that. Another coal train coming on in. How much does that give us? How much did you make? Uh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and get back into this. Let's see here. So our coal trains have definitely been making a profit. Our passenger trains are also a uh, passenger train. Is that also making a profit? Um, but before we do buy another train, I want to go ahead and just pay off our loans. Uh, just so that way we can easily take them out later on. That way we don't have to worry about like the interest rolling on up. And we definitely have a lot of iron ore waiting now. Over a hundred. So let's go ahead and get a few more uh, vehicles over there. Uh, let's go ahead and put three more on. One, two, three. And put you on iron ore. So that is good. Uh, yeah. That seems pretty good in my opinion. Let's see here. How much was, will this train cost us? Mm, well, we can simply figure out just by, come on. Just by clicking on that, and just a little over 700k. That's not too bad. Oh. Fast forward, and go. Come on, there we go. I realize this episode is going to be kind of like a filler episode, but I kind of can't do much when we're not making too much money. Plus, I'm kind of time restrained on this episode right here, so uh, aside from that, um, let's see here. Trains are definitely going to be making me a good profit. I'll put the cost off. Uh, no, that's income, that's cost. Okay, there's our train, it's coming on up over to here, 27 people waiting, 
And if the train gets over here before um, it hits 32, then I won't put another train on. Which, it just barely makes the cut. Okay. Because 14 are waiting now. Okay. And let's see how many are waiting over in Mexboro. Hmm. 20 passengers. I wonder, will you get up to 30 thereabouts before the train arrives? It's currently about to reach the halfway point. And there we go. Halfway point is reached and it just barely got to 25. Um... I think it won't go above 30, so that's good. Here. Uh, yeah, just left 11 there. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, and let's see here. Uh, oh, we got some, a new vehicle. Oh, we got the... Oh, the short coaches, okay. And the GWR 4-4, 3252 engine. Check, take a look at it. Um, 50 miles per hour, so that's good. 30 year lifespan, um, yeah. Pretty decent loco lo locomotive. And then, okay. So these coaches basically cost half as much of the clear story coaches. So that's good. Um, I think that we can get some money back if we were to replace the, this train. Even though it's, what, four years old now? We'll most likely get a little bit of money. Let's use that. And let's use the small clear story coaches. Actually, uh, it's going to be interesting. Hmm. You know what? Let me see here. You're 40 miles per hour. You know what? Yeah. Go with that locomotive. And then put these small, uh, short clear stories on there. I'll put three of you on there. That's going to be 1.45 million. Uh, I only have to pay seven nineteen. Sure, I'll do that. Just so that we can get a little bit more capacity on that line. Not by much, but a at least a little bit more. That's at least doubling our capacity uh, by upgrading to that. Now, should we put more vehicles on the iron ore line? I have a feeling we should. Uh, the DMG Canstant. Canstant. Gonna put you all on the iron ore line. And just for good measure, put one more on there. There you go. And that should do us for the time being. Uh, let's see here. Do we also want to grab another train to put on this passenger line? How many do you have on you? 27, so basically you took a full load. Okay, not bad, not bad. But will there be a full load waiting for you over here? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Hmm... Oh, right there. I always love taking a look at these vehicles. 86.8k. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not making too much profit, but at least it's making at least some. And there it goes. Off to the next station. 
So there's that taken care of and done with. Let's see here. Go on two times speed real quick. Where is it? There you are. Just want to get a good uh, screenshot of that train. Most likely the thumbnail. Yeah, that looks like a good screenshot. Okay. And go about your business. Here. You got quite a bit of coal waiting over here. And the production is it going up or down? It's going steadily around 128 and 132. Ooh, but it actually is slowly dropping. What's the production like over here? Just hitting 100 now. So we might have to put another train on this line just to make things run a bit more smoothly. Okay. Let's go here. And I want to use you. Um, do we want to buy it right now? Let's actually wait for a moment. And definitely, I think that is good enough for this episode. Very shorter than usual, mostly for the fact that I have to rush this episode out. But um, next episode will definitely have some time pass, most likely about two years I want to say and I'll update you guys about what I have changed in the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this part please do consider giving it a like rating and if you are feeling so more complicated than a thumbs up or a thumbs down please leave me a comment down below and that's pretty much all said and done for today's episode I will catch you guys in the next one see ya